that. Let's move to this pump the brakes topic. Joel Embiid not named to the Eastern Conference All-Star team. Paul Millsap is a big man who was on there, who a lot of people felt like should have been off, Embiid should have been in. Dylan, do we need to pump the brakes on, did Embiid's minutes restriction keep him off the All-Star team? No, I don't think we need to pump the brakes. I think that's the reason. I don't think it should have been the reason. I don't agree with it. I don't really care how many minutes he plays. Look at the numbers. That's what makes it even more impressive to me, yeah. what he's been able to do while only playing 25 minutes a game. You want to drop 20 and 8 on me while hey. shooting that, that effective from the field. There's not a rule that says you can only play this much or this much. It's not a rule. There's not a, a, you know, a minimum that you have to play minutes per game. Sure, the more you play, the more opportunity you have to impress. But in this case, to take that team and, and the abysmal dumpster fire that they were last year and, and look at the difference within a year, and, and you don't have to look too far to see what the difference is, it's Embiid. Embiid's playing. Embiid's playing extremely well, and he's making the most out of his 25 minutes a game, more so than Paul Millsap is making the most out of his whatever 29 or 33 minutes a game. Uh, I would have put Embiid on this team. I think the fans wanted to see him beat on this team more so than Paul Millsap, and I think he deserves it. But I don't think it's a, 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 something we need to pump the brakes on to say that is the reason. I think when you look at some fans that didn't vote for him or the other factors of the media and the player votes and you smash all that together, I think the people that didn't vote for him felt like, well, he's just not showing me enough. He's only out there 25, 25. minutes a game. I mean, yeah. it's a glorified... Two quarters. It's, it's interesting, though, because when you put Millsap and B head-to-head, B plays nine fewer minutes per game, about 20 points per game for B. Millsap about 18, has them there, rebounds Millsap 8.1, and B 7.9, close edge to Millsap, blocks, though, and B two and a half blocks per game, Millsap just one. So when you look at what Embiid does in nine fewer minutes, the stats are off the charts. Some people did say to the other side, and Shaq was talking about it, it almost gives you an unfair advantage when you take games off because Embiid doesn't play on back-to-backs. That makes you a little bit fresher, whereas some people might get worn down because you play a little bit more. I'm not in that equation. I think, though, the fact that he's a rookie, I don't know if some of the other uh, coaches and things of that nature, they may have used the fact that he's a rookie against him yes, and yeah. wanted to keep him out of the All-Star Mil game. Saps, uh, a guy that you know everyone has something good to say about. He's a good sure. teammate. People like him. But from a fan perspective, People want to see him beat out there. No doubt about People it. People want to see him live tweeting the dunk contest. People want to see him as part of All-Star Weekend and, and playing on Sunday as a reserve for the Eastern Conference. That's what people want to see. So if the numbers are better, and for our sake, it shouldn't be factored in that the back-to-back -back crap, the numbers are better, and he's the more entertaining fan favorite. It's a no-brainer. The fact that he's not there is, is, is blasphemy. He will be in the Rising Stars Challenge, but it's not the same. He should be in the All-Star Game.